Bombing Science recently sent me some of their high flow dang paint. Earlier in the year, I reviewed their low pressure paint and now they have a high pressure version. This is an oil based high pressure paint with a soft pressure valve and a gloss finish. And it comes stock with the orange dot fat cap. Just like the low pressure paint, it's made in Spain and distributed by Bombing Science out of Montreal. And in the box, they sent me some of their standard size cans as well as their tall cans, which they're calling jumbos. These are $7.15, where the standard size cans are $4 dollars and 85 cents where black and white are also four dollars and 39 cents this makes this one of the cheapest high pressure paints out there comparable to rusto anyway since this is a high pressure paint let's go outside we're gonna try and move pretty quick we'll do some line art some color and some general mischief let's go i kind of jumped ahead and tested some of the cans out on the wall already honestly i'm pretty excited it feels like it's gonna be cool on the wall will be some line art. It's gonna be like a little spider guy, which should give me a chance to figure out how the caps work. With this paint, uh, I'm gonna just start off with the jumbo. I might switch down to the smaller can, we'll find out. Shoot, it's about to rain. I need to bring the camera inside. All right, this is where we are. I can't really smell it with my respirator on, but when I take it off, it is a little stinky. So far, all of this has been done with the fat cap. So now we need to go in and do some details. I'm gonna throw on this level one Montana cap, and if it's like other high pressure paints, this might get a little bit drippy and a little bit fun. So basically my mic died, but I was just saying that the level one Montana cap was a little bit hard for me to figure out. I don't think I really nailed it and I need some more practice with it. Uh, I did practice a little bit more with the fat cap and the level one, and I think it'll be a little bit more consistent next time. And here I'm just saying I'm about to start color. And all of this was done with the orange dot. Looking back at the footage, this one took about six minutes to paint. Cold as your ex-girlfriend's hot, but can skyrocket to about as hot as your head was when she left you last summer. Today we've got my good friend Dalton O'Brien on the phone and he's about to tell you about a regular day in his life. Now, I don't know why just because of cost alone, I would definitely pick this over like Montana Black. I generally use Montana Gold, which is a low pressure paint, but for my high pressures, I really don't want to run adapters if I don't have to. So Dang feels like the perfect fit for all of this. And it feels great, especially with the fat cap that it comes stock with. Honestly, I really can't think of anything bad to say about it. It does smell a little bit stronger like the other Dang low pressure paint. Outside of that, this feels really good. The colors are bright, the delivery is good, it's cheap. Uh, I don't, I don't know what else you want to know. Like it's, it's good paint. And basically here, all gradients, fills, and delivery were super clean and super opaque and super saturated. Uh, yeah, it was really good. All right, now you get to see my terrible handwriting. Gradients were super easy to play around with. Fills were super easy. Uh, like with any fat cap, it's pretty fun just to like kind of dump paint on everything. So my final thoughts are that you should definitely get this paint. Yeah, Bombing Science did send me this paint, but I was surprised to say the least. Feels like Montana Black, but for the price of Rusto. I think Montana Black out here costs like $8 on Blick. So if you are looking for a low cost, high pressure paint that is not Rusto, uh, dang is is the answer like don't consider it just buy it like it's really good honestly i don't i don't know what else to say if you did like this content please consider liking commenting subscribing either way i hope you have a good day and i'll see you in the next video bum, bum, bum.